This topic is on structures, structures in a perfect world. Now, the outline of the topic, structures that are around us, the function of structures, type of structure that we have, the classification of structures and reinforcement. Okay, so structures around us, right? If I look around, we will see natural structures, things like trees, spider webs, uh, crabs, shell, the human skeleton. Okay, these are natural structures. What about man-made structures? Things like bridges, uh, overhead bridges, chairs, okay, playgrounds. You know, these are all man-made structures. They are all around us. So what is a structure? Structure is a supporting system designed for minimum movement. It should not move, right? It's made of members working together as a team to withstand loads and forces they are designed for. All structures resist forces, support loads, and hold, place in a, hold things in the right place. You don't want a building to collapse, right? So what are the functions, right? So it's S, uh, C, P, S, S. So we have containing, spending, supporting, and protecting. Right? So, function of structure is to contain, to spend, to support, and to protect. Things like supporting. These are buildings, these are overhead bridges, structures that will support the load. We don't want a roof to collapse on us. What are containers? Things like Coca-Cola containers, the styrofoam containers that we have. These contain things like oil drums, for example. What are protection? Your helmets, Okay, your, your uh, corrugated boxes, these protect the internal things from being damaged from the outside. Spending, alright? Basically, the bridge spans a gap. From point A to point B, you want to get across, be it water or, or, or gaps or whatever, then you span a bridge. Okay? Types of structures that we have. Alright, we have frame structures. These are a, pieces, a few pieces of materials joined together in order to used to do other things, okay? Shell structures. Okay, so these are your frame structures. They are joined together to provide strength. Okay, what are shell structures? Shell structures are something that has an outer shell, okay, a skin that will then, uh, you know, join together using one piece to protect things. For example, you have a chair, your tissue box, the Sydney Opera House is a shell. Right? There's a skin that gives it its structure, the strength and the rigidity. So the whole load is spread across the whole body of the shell. Alright? Instead of just a few pieces of members. Reinforcement for frameworks. Okay, we have things like call this thing called a brace. A brace is that corner brace, diagonal uh, member that joins the horizontal and the vertical. It provides a support to prevent bending. For example, in this car, you see that there are seat brace all right, at the back in order to protect the whole uh, body shell from collapsing. All right? Structural brace in the MRT, you see that they have the brace that are joining up the roof. All right? Other reinforcement, we have the webs. These are at the corners, tiny uh, little strip of materials that will, uh, if you look at the classroom chairs, you see that there's this uh, these uh, uh, webs that are used in your in your in your chair, right? Appealing structures. We have things like these are some of the beautiful buildings that we have. We can be made of shell. We can be made of frame. Okay. So the esplanade is made of many 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 tiny frames that were joined together to form a shell. Okay. So these are some of the examples. Uh, the Henderson Bridge is a very nice design. It's made of a wavy curved material, okay, made of wood. They're all framed, but joined together to form a wonderful shell. Some more bridges. Some of the tallest buildings, right, in the world, okay. You can look at it now, and I don't know how tall they're going to be, but they are made wonderfully. Right, that's the end of the structures lesson.